All right, we finally, finally have the ability to work with spreadsheets inside Google Gemini, something that we've had access to in ChatGPT for about a year and even in Claude Anthropic for many, many months. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and go over if this new uh, data analysis mode inside of Google Gemini Advanced is any good, all right? So uh, if you're new here, let me just tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We do this little AI in five, which is a daily uh, tutorial tip trick uh, to help you better leverage generative AI to grow your company and to grow your career. So if that's you, please subscribe to this channel, leave me a comment, and let me know what you want to see more of. All right, so I've actually done a pretty similar video uh, with Claude a couple of weeks ago. So uh, if you want to go ahead and check that one out and see how they did, uh, see how Claude did, uh, make sure to do that. So uh, here's essentially what we're doing. We have a lot of data here uh, from Google Search Console. So this is data about the Everyday AI website, uh, just Google Search Console data. So how people are discovering uh, our website. So we have it for different terms, and then we have it for different pages. So as you'll see here, here's the term chat GPT free versus paid, which means we're getting traffic from that. And then as an example, here is the URL that's bringing in uh, that, that traffic as an example, right? Uh, so I've exported these files, um, and I'm going to work with them in Google. So one quick thing to know is you don't have access to this everywhere. So even as an example, uh, for everyday AI, we pay for uh, Gemini Enterprise, and then we've tried downgrading to advance, and we still don't have access to all of this. So you know, even just to show you, don't even have access to extensions. So what you might have to do, and that's what I'm going to show now as I switch my screen, you might have to actually use a personal Gmail, but you have to be on the paid plan, uh, the advanced plan, which is $20 a month. So uh, little confusing. Also, you know, Google, come on, get it together. I've uh, been uh, kind of talking about this for many months that even if you are on a paid plan, some workspace uh, accounts uh, have access to all of these other features, uh, such as extensions. Uh, not everyone does. So we don't. So just putting that out there. All right. So uh, enough of that. Let's go ahead and show you how this works. So when you click upload uh, files, there is uh, new new options here. So you can upload uh, files here or you can add from Drive. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to upload a file. All right. We're going to do what are we going to do first? We're going to do uh, terms. All right. So now I've uploaded this spreadsheet there. So this is called Everyday AI Unbranded Traffic Terms. Uh, I have a prompt. I'm not going to um, make you sit here and watch me um, put it in. Uh, but essentially, I'm saying this is you know Google Search Console data from my website. So I'm giving Google a little heads up on what this information is. I could ask it like, hey, just go look around. Tell me what this is. Um, but I want to at least do a similar comparison to what I did inside of Claude. Um, so first first things first, this is brand new. I haven't even tried this yet. That's one thing we do at Everyday AI, even with our you know live stream podcast. It's unedited, unscripted. Uh, I like to do that so everyone gets a real idea of, you know, here's not the polished product. This is literally live. All right, so let's see what's happening here. It says the data appears to be Google Search Console data for queries. Yep, that's exactly what I told it. Uh, all right, so it's going through. It's looking. Uh, it's 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 taken a while. So I'll tell you this right now. Uh, Claude, much faster. Uh, GPT-4.0, much faster. Um, but just to give you, again, give you guys... Um, some examples here. Uh, I'm, what I'm ultimately asking for is I'm asking for, I said, please find 10 trends I should be paying attention to and respond back with formatting to make it easy to read and understand. Uh, so let's see if it's done yet. Still not done. All right. So finally, uh, probably after about 60 seconds or so, we're starting to get those 10 trends. So let's see how good they are. Uh, so it says significant growth in pro queries. Uh, so it says queries related to ChatGPT Pro have seen a substantial increase in clicks, 97%, and impressions, suggesting a growing interest in the professional version of ChatGPT. So pretty good, uh, pretty good output there, right? Um, so, oh, I, I, I should also kind of, I should have done a better job of describing what this data is. Uh, so yes, it's from Google Search Council, but the whole point is we're looking at clicks, impressions, click-through rates, um, and position um, over a three-month term and comparing it to the three months previous. So there's a lot of data, uh, probably 10 probably 10,000 data points between the two different spreadsheets. All right, so let's look. So it looks like so far uh, it, it was a little slow, but I'm looking... Um, 
So it's it's uh, it's interesting. So you know, here uh, trend one is it says there's a significant growth in pro queries, uh, but then it says right here there's a decline in pro queries. So it says conversely, queries related to Chat GPT Plus have seen a sharp decline in clicks, uh, but uh, pro have seen uh, an increase. So pretty, uh, I'd say there's pretty good job uh, here by by Google. Uh, Gemini for the first round. So let's go ahead and do the second round. So again, I'm doing the exact same uh, kind of prompts that I did inside Claude. So now I'm going to upload a file. And this is pretty similar. The first one that I uploaded was terms. So search terms. Uh, the second one in the prompt, what I'm asking is similar, but it's for pages. All right, so we're doing something similar here. And again, I'm kind of describing it's, you know, this last three months versus previous three months. And again, I'm asking for 10 trends that I should be paying attention to. All right, so let's see uh, how it does on this one. So, you know, so far, again, it's very early. I just tried this, but, you know, I've done this many times in Claude. I've done this many times in OpenAI. So, so far, what I'll tell you is Google is much, much slower. Um, you know, that was about 30 seconds just to get, um, just for it to understand the columns, which is fine, right? In the end, uh, this is a task that probably would take me or someone on my team uh, many hours to go through this. So, you know, the difference of going through something in 15 seconds versus 90 seconds isn't a deal breaker for me, unless you are trying to use this on a minute by minute basis, then it might be a deal breaker. Again, this is the very first one. So, uh, all right, so it's going through, didn't give me uh, 10 uh, trends. So, you know, kind of a small fail there. Uh, but let's just go ahead and look and see the quality. That's what this is all about. Quality, accuracy. So uh, so let's see. It says new page success. It says this page uh, is new and has gained significant traction. All right, that's fine. Um, high growth pages. So it's, it's showing some pages that are showing uh, high growth. Uh, it says click-through rate is declining dis despite growth. So it says while these many pages are experiencing growth in clicks and impressions, some are seeing a decline in click-through rate. Okay, so uh, pretty pretty decent um, insights. Uh, so now what I'm asking to do, I'm going to do one more prompt here. We're not uploading anything else. So now what I'm asking for is saying now that you have both of these spreadsheets, please think analytically and start connecting the dots between trends with terms and trends with pages. Um I'm saying, again, please avoid obvious observations and instead think critically step-by-step step to unearth opportunities that even expert data analysis uh, analysts might miss. All right. So again, I'm asking for 10 trends. Uh, the first time, it got me 10 trends uh, when we did queries. The second time is when we asked pages. It did not. So let's see uh, when I'm asking it to compare the two if it actually gave me 10. So now it's uh, interesting. So it's it's merging uh, the two data sets and cleaning and standardizing them. So, uh, that's an interesting approach. I don't believe Claude did this, but so it looks like it's, uh, it's actually merging the two data steps, uh, the two data sets in the background. Uh, so now it says based on the analysis of both spreadsheets, here are 10 trends you should be paying attention to. So it says chat GPT pro opportunity. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Um, because there is no chat GPT pro it's chat GPT plus, but apparently people are searching for that. Uh, so it says paid versus free content gap, the high click volume for queries. Okay. Pretty good. Human sounding, uh, disconnect, uh, high impression pages. Okay. So, um, I'll go through. So, so it was okay. You, you know, um, nothing, nothing great there, right? Like this is very general, you know, it says content optimization for click through rate. Um, so wasn't, wasn't the greatest. I think it did a better job at the first two queries. And now I want to do the exact same thing that I did for Claude. Um, so let's go ahead and, um, push this in here. So now I'm saying based on both of these spreadsheets and trends, please give me and my team an SEO checklist of the first 10 things we should address in terms of optimizing pages and terms, specifically focusing on trends, either losing a lot of traffic impressions or opportunities gaining impressions and clicks. All right. So now it's, uh, so it says writing code for the analysis. All right. So Again, this was just released uh, about a day ago. First time I played with it, but I like always doing these things live. So here it says, here's an SEO checklist of the top things you should address. 
So it says create a chat GPT pro page, you know, it says given the high click volume for chat GPT pro and the absence of a dedicated page, create a comprehensive page. Pretty good. Um, optimize free versus paid page. So it says that existing page comparing free isn't ranking for relevant queries, optimizing its content and metadata, uh, revise human signing page. Okay. Um, so give me five and then it gave me additional opportunities. So these weren't, some of them were pretty, uh, specific. Some of them were a little more general. So as an example, optimizing page title and meta descriptions. Um, I don't think that that, uh, you know, did a good job of, you know, I'm asking it to kind of gloss over very obvious things, but, uh, overall for the very first iteration, uh, I will say not bad. Google, not bad, not great. Um, you know, I would say again, a very, very quick comparison, uh, you, you know, cloud three Opus, uh, where I did this a couple of weeks ago, much faster. Um, so I'll say cloud Opus speed was a quality was maybe B and I'd say it's maybe flipped for, uh, for Google Gemini. Uh, the speed was, I don't know, maybe, maybe a C or a B, but the quality looked fairly, fairly good, uh, maybe B plus or A minus. Um, so I hope this was helpful. If so, please let me know, please subscribe to this channel, but most importantly, maybe make sure to go to your everyday sign up for our free daily newsletter, and we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.